Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. Today I want to teach you four different ways that you can tie ribbon or twine. The first one is going to be a bow and I'm going to be using my large clear block here. We're just going to imagine for a moment that this is either your card base or perhaps it's a package. I've got the beautiful granny apple green textured weave ribbon. I'm going to wrap that behind my project or my box. The first step is you want to make sure that the ribbon across the back is nice and flat. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try to even up your end so that you have equal space on the left and the right. And then what I like to do is crisscross them. So I'm going to pull these now to create a cross or a plus here in the center. Now oftentimes when we go to make the bow, a lot of us lose the tension here. So I want to give you a tip. Grab your glue dots. I'm going to use my paper piercing tool attachment on my take your pick tool. And I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to ball it up really small. I'm going to take it with my fingers and I'm actually going to place it exactly where I'm going to want that tie to be. And now what's going to happen is it's going to hold the tension for us. That will allow you a little bit more give when you go ahead and create your loops. So I'm coming up now with the right hand and I'm using one loop. I'm coming over the top, which is my preference, and then I'm poking the other end through. And then I'm going to pull. The first mistake a lot of people make when they make a bow is they're afraid to pull too tightly. Don't be afraid. The other thing is, I'm sure this happens to you quite a bit, is your loops are uneven. So another tip is to either pinch or press on the knot and then pull on the raw end. So I'm going to pinch mine here and then I'm going to pull on both of these until I get them the size that I want. And then make sure you go back in and you re-tighten the center. There's absolutely nothing worse than a bow that's coming in and out of the envelope on a card or on a package that becomes loose and unravels. The second type of bow is a double bow. Now naturally you can use two strands of the same ribbon or even different ribbon if you choose to do this, but I prefer to use one strand and this works really well with twine as well. I'm going to match up the ends on this so that I have a double strand. There'll be a loop on one end. Then I'm going to leave a small amount in my hand so that I can hold it. And I'm going to create a loop on one side. I'm going to wrap it around the top. And then I'll bring the loops through on the other side and I'll pull. And just like before, this will probably happen. You'll have two uneven loops. Go ahead and pull out the one that's too short and pull it tightly. If they are still not looking the way that you want them, just like we've done before, go ahead and pull or pinch and pull on the raw ends until you get them to the desired size and then make sure you recreate the tension in the middle of your double bow. Then all you'll have to do is snip open that one end. The third type of tie or bow is using a single loop and I like this one especially for masculine cards. Again, I'm going to make sure that I have some in my hand so I can control it and I'm going to make my loop and then I'll come around very much just like a regular bow. But here is the secret. Rather than stopping here, take this end and pull it all the way through so that you end up with two raw ends on one side and then pull tightly. You're going to notice that it leaves you with a single loop here. Again, you can adjust it by pinching the knot and then just pulling on the raw end to get the desired size that you like. I love this not only for masculine cards, but especially on cards or projects for which I don't have an ample amount of room for a full size bow. Last but not least, let's talk about a knot. Oftentimes people want to make a perfectly laid knot or a square knot. I'm going to be using this clear block as an example. I'm going to work left over right. So I've got my left strand here is coming over the top of the right one and I'm going to pull it. And then this one now becomes the right. So that's going to go over the top of this one here on the bottom and then we are going to pull tightly. The great thing about this knot is that it's going to lay horizontally perfectly across the project so that when you trim it, you don't have it going in opposite directions. But I want to give you a tip. Let me loosen this up for you. Let's assume now that we want the ties to go in opposite directions. I'm going to go left over right once again and I'm bringing my strand through. To help hold that in place, I'm going to use a glue dot once again. So I'm going to take it here and I'm going to ball it up just like we've done on the original bow. I'll place it either on my card or my package where I want it to stay. I'll create that tension which will help hold it in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this top strand and we're going to go up underneath. And then this time you're going to pull it 
diagonally. The one nice thing about a knot is you can actually help control the direction it will lay. So if you're looking for that off-centered type of look, you can certainly pull it this way. And that's going to give you a nice flat knot here in the middle. And then of course you can trim your ends. These beautiful ribbons can all be found in the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you would like to receive a complimentary copy of this catalog or the current holiday catalog, head over to lisasstampstudio.com and click on Contact Me. Thank you so much for joining me today. And while you're here, if you would, if you've enjoyed today's tip video, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're there, subscribe. If you click that small bell icon, you'll receive reminders of when I upload a new video as well as when I'm live here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.